Mark, this is why in the morning the segment is MCM. We're just about to get into a powerful conversation, but first things first, we had asked you a question on a social media from X, Instagram, Facebook, and Threads. I'm still stuck on Threads. I don't know how you guys are using it, but anyways, you'll tell me on the comment section right there. We had asked you a question about leadership since it's in relation to today's topic. Natumeku Liza, Ulitamani Kua leader. Nanini Kakuzuya, by the way, Ebu tell us. So let me just sample part of your feedback really fast, and then we're going to get back to you. our conversation right here in studio. Anajita Hamstone Mwingisi, anasema, kukua master plan and in kazia. I don't know what that means, bro, but explain a little bit. Uh, and it was Ali Monda, anasema, watching live from Makombwani, Kitui. Oh, sorry, Kitui, enye linizuia, nikiburi, kujiona, mimi ni mkubwa tayari. Mm, that's a good one. And, and I'm glad you identified it. And it was Mary Pinches and I said, locked in the queue, racing Gong Road. Nice. Brenda Moral, let me tell you, it's not easy, especially when your friends don't vote for you. Okay. <laughs> and then Catherine Shiko and I said, Masana from Kaganda Muranga, shout out to you. Dennis Wa Murkwejit. Wow, what a name. Kapenguria to Kondani Sana, shout out to you in Kapenguria. And then Anajita T. Jesus, you guys have really heavy names. Show Ikojutu Sana from Nairobi, Kenya. Tijer D. Asu. Well, okay. And then the last, oh, Melon Musk. There's something you did with the name. Melon Musk. Okay, I got you. Uzuru Akulala. Eh, no, 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 no. And the last one. <laughs> Anasema Anajita Voke Tizom Rasta. Anasema I and Rasta Voke. Engineer Mreti from Kaira, mini litamani, but niliweza kuwa class three, secretary for three years. Lastly, nikawa school president in high school. Congratulations, you know. That's a big achievement, you know. It starts from small, small places like pale kuwa class prefect, high school, nini, nini. The rest in the present. Shout out to everybody. Livingstone Akala, Amos Nkrumah, anasema Kondani. And lastly, Pablo Moja, anasema watching from Ruiri. Continue watching and sending your feedback. The question once again is, Ulitamani kuwa leader na nini kakuzuia, by the way. I have a whole story, and mine I will do a PowerPoint presentation live on TikTok. But anyways, <laughs> I'm playing. But back to, back to the conversation in studio, we have two powerful gentlemen, and they'll definitely tell us what they do at their various institutions. We have Victor Solite, he's a president and chairperson at St. Paul's University, and also student association. And next to him is SK Kajong. He'll tell me what SK means in full. And then the president emeritus of Mount Kenya University. He's also an author, a public speaker, and a leadership enthusiast. Karibuni sana. Good morning. Thank you. Emeritus, lazima aseme. Emeritus in Emeritus is a big word, by the way. I've seen it on Maraga. I've yes. seen it on a president. Uh, why is it used uh, a lot, especially on people that have been through leadership positions and then they've left? Yeah, so basically, um, SK Kajuan. Yeah. The President Emeritus of SK in full? Kajuang. Sancho Ken Kajuang. Oh, so you abbreviated it yeah, to shorten so because Sancho Ken. Comrade, comrades know me as SK, SK Kajuang, so I decided Kajuang. to use it as such. All right. So it's like a brand? Yeah, it's a brand by nice. itself. There you go. Yes. <laughs> okay. So I'm SK Kajuang, the President Emeritus of Mount Kenya University. I'm an author, public speaker, and a leadership enthusiast. Right. So uh, President Emeritus simply means a former. Right. A former. But yeah. I decided to use it as such because um, um, I realized the fact that when you are in leadership, you ought to be esteemed as an astute member right. of the society. So that is wha that is the reason why I decided to use it as emeritus. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Good. Uh, what about you, Mr. Solite? Yes. Um, uh, my name is Victor Solite. Hi. I'm the current chairperson, St. Paul's University. Mm -hmm. And I'm pursuing a Bachelor of Arts in Communications, specializing right. in public relations and mass communications. Right. Yes, okay. I'm so excited to be here. Karibuni sana. <coughs> and interesting enough is most of you are from leadership sports. Mm -hmm. So maybe perhaps we can start off by defining maybe a leader. So who's a leader? I'll start since you're the last person to speak. Mm -hmm. So who's a leader? How would you define it in your own understanding, in your own experience, um, in your own words? I think a leader is someone who is... Uh, First, authentic, 
Mm -hmm. um, a leader is someone who is a people person. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll say someone who is outgoing, okay. someone who is ready to serve humanity with their mm -hmm. hearts. Uh -huh. um, authenticity, humility, and ready to serve, readiness to serve yeah. wholeheartedly. Mm -hmm. um, there are aspects, I think those are things that really define a leader. Right. Yes. All right, fantastic. What about you, SK? Thank you. Martin Luther King Jr. said mm -hmm. that a good leader is a builder of consensus, not a seeker. So I go by consensus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I go by those words because I've realized the fact that a good leader is a person who is able to realize the needs of the people and right. be able to authenticate and implement them yeah. according to their wishes. So right. it's just about the people because mm. I've realized the you call that comes with leadership is that the people that matter. Right. So actually, if you want to be engaged in leadership position, first you must realize the needs of the people and uh -huh. be able to implement their aspirations. Right. Otherwise, you cannot be termed as a leader or you cannot be cognizant of the fact what leadership really constitutes. Right. Yeah. And let me ask you another question. Uh, before you become a leader of any, any, any position in the world, you must first be a leader of your own self. Yes. You're leading your life. And then when your life is right now, that's when you can lead other people. Yeah. So what are some of the things that you have had to shape in you? Before you, before you get to the story of how you got to be the president of your institution, how have you led your life to a point now you became a leader of others? Good. Oh, I, I'll start by, 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 by what I, those, some of the proponents that I constitute my book, a magna opus, which clearly outlines becoming a president. Okay. And becoming a president is simply <coughs> how to lead a classical and fantastic life that mm. our people can emulate. Right. And it starts with self-discipline. Mm. Because if you're not self-disciplined yourself, then you cannot show other people the way on how to behave. Right. So basically, one of the tools that you can use to develop your leadership skills is first realize the, the, the key components of yourself or what you constitute, so what you embody. Then now from that, that's how you can be able to shape the future of other people. Right. Yes. Nice, fantastic. What about you, uh, Mr. Solite? I, I think he's actually mentioned one of the main things that is self-discipline. Uh -huh. um, before you think of leading others, mm -hmm. um, you have first to shape yourself, and just as you have asked, mm -hmm. uh, how you first shape yourself. I think self-discipline is one of the main, main really things that you have right. uh, to have before you think of uh, going for leadership positions or anything else. Mm -hmm. And again, um, th 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 one, th these virtues that we have to get in leadership, right. integrity is one of the things. And mm -hmm. of course, uh, now let me speak from a point of uh, being a communication student as well. Mm -hmm. uh, your brand, you know, the image that you portray outside there. Yeah. Because um, how you portray yourself or how you carry yourself mm -hmm. is how people will, you know, how, will, how people will see it and uh, mm -hmm. how they'll get to, 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 to view you, you know. Yeah. So um, I think uh, your image matters a lot, mm -hmm. your character. Um, now that is an image, your character, uh, how authentic you are, how you speak to people. Yeah. and everything about you, even your movements, you know, yeah. how strategic you are, so right. how you do your things. Right. Yeah. So. Uh, still on you, um, every human being has, goes through phases in life. Um, yeah. There's times you're at your lowest, there's times you're at your peak, and everybody has a behavior, at least something that you do mm -hmm. individually, in mm -hmm. public, private, or people know you for. So uh, maybe to just uh, dissect into you, what are some of the things you've had to shelve off or shade off to become this fine leader before we now get to leading an institution. And maybe just a little bit story of mm -hmm. you transitioning from primary school to high school and then uni. And then now here you are on TV talking about leadership. Perhaps you can take us through that journey. The things you've had to shelve off to mm -hmm. be this fine and now on TV. Um, I think it's a process of uh, building a champion's mindset. Mm -hmm. I'll say that or rather um, from my primary school, I don't think I was actually uh, 
any at any point the leading my primary school. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I don't remember being a class rep. Mm -hmm. I think probably in class three, class four, uh, about there. Right. Um, then in high school, I was a leader in high school. Right. Um, what position? I was holding a position, a CHA person. Mm -hmm. And uh, at the same time, I was uh, a dome captain. Right. From form three to form four, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, one of the things that I had to shed off right. is uh, the fear to take risk. Mm -hmm. um, 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 uh, many times we have that fear yeah. of taking risk, a fear mm -hmm. of uh, making decisions. Uh, and at times in leadership, you, you even have to make prag pragmatic decisions. Yeah. Uh, and and that, that are some of the things that, uh, you know, in leadership, that fear to make decisions, that fear to go for something that you believe you can do it. Yeah. Um, I think that was one of the biggest things that I had to overcome. Uh -huh. And then, uh, and of course, building the character, building the image, uh, the image itself, I have to, I had to build it. And, you know, it's kind of a, when you're building a building, there are things that you have to, yeah. uh, so, yeah. um, of course, uh, there, there, there are some behaviors that I used to have before I had to shed off. Please, that please mention had. them. <laughs> you know, the, there's those conventional ones, like everybody, at least if you're a lady, gentleman, young, yeah. there's some things you do, and you'll, you'll try to see that they're universal. Mm -hmm. So you can just share them, point them out, if you're not, if you're not afraid or scared to uh, point out. You know. um, I think uh, one of the behaviors, I'll say, is uh, I uh, used to be that, you know, very shy person or something. Let me say I was very shy. Shy is not a behavior. <laughs> 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 shy is no I wouldn't mention the other ones, <laughs> but, I, because of yeah. an, but I will say I was very shy, by the way, yeah. when I was growing up. Um, yeah. Speaking Mbele uh, Awatu, it was a very big, very huge challenge. Yeah. But uh, something that I had to build, it's, I had to, you know, learn how to do that, uh, do public speaking. Uh, mm. So along the way, I developed uh, the confidence the confidence to stand before people and speak mm. and uh, yeah here we are today so uh, the, the small small behaviors I think uh, my senior here can Ome mention them because Omeche. I think they are very common. <laughs> Omeches are politically <laughs> right but it's all right I got yeah. you I got you what about your SK what are some of the Thank things you. you had to shed off and become this Thank guy? Thank you I remember when I was in uh, primary school that is um, um, in a certain school back in Arok and I was a, a class prefect. Then I went to high school, was not a leader, but I participated most, mostly in leadership matters. And when, when, when things were being consolidated to try and reach solutions, I was always available to, to, to do that. Yeah. And when I came to the university, um, most of the time, my, my coursework friends could give me an opportunity to, 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 to present before the class because they believed I could do it with a lot of prowess and intelligence. And I remember even most of the time when I presented my coursework, even the lecturers could give me very good marks because of um, um, uh, a good prowess, fluency, and yeah. such. And that is where I started developing my leadership skills and, 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 and people started saying, I could hear them nod and say, this guy can lead us, he can yeah. provide leadership. And mm. I said, if people can believe in me, why, uh, what is the reason that I do not have to believe in myself and the capacity that I carry to serve others and show them the way? Yeah. And therefore, I decided as a first year to go for a position in the council, which mm. was against the tradition because nobody has done that before. But I decided to break all the odds. Mm -hmm. I ran for the position of uh, the Secretary General uh -huh. of the Student Association, but because of um, the constraints that were in yeah. place and the co constitutional framework that couldn't allow us to, to do that, yeah. I retreated back, built capacity, then came back to vie for the position of the President. But in, in the whole that process, it requires you to be sometimes to go in isolation. Yeah. You go in isolation so that you mm -hmm. can build 
what is necessary to be brought on the table because right. you cannot present yourself as a candidate for that position yeah. if you've not built capacity for that. Yeah. And people cannot just entrust you um, mm. um, uh, with such an opportunity to serve them and be the head of the student body if yeah. you do not have the capacity and the muscles to do that. Right. And therefore, um, in this whole process, there are some of the things that you'll have to forego. Mm. You forego. Like, Mimi, I'm not a Sharia person. Mm -hmm. I'm not a Sharia person. Those are one of the behaviors that I had to forego personally so yeah. that I can achieve to that end. Yeah. And most, you know, our campus, the campus comrades, most of the time, more so in Fridays, on yeah. a semanga to Nangia Sharehe. So yeah. Mimi, Mambo Ya Sharehe, Sikuwa Napenda Sana, because right. I was a church person. Mm -hmm. And I believe that I can do um, this thing without yeah. really going to Sharehe. And even uh, when we are politicking, you, you, it's something that uh, is always a tradition that you must offer people be to come a pombe so that they yeah. can uh, shout to the top of their voices, make noise, cause disturbance. <laughs> And yeah. so that you can be seen as well in your bazoo on a Ikitu. But I never mm -hmm. believed in that. I still believe that you can be a person of good character and be elected to serve in such an astute position. All right. Yes. All right. Since you've taken us all the way to how you become a leader at university, maybe you can, you, you can just point out maybe what are some of the things that uh, made you to be chosen for that position you are? You still are. You are now emeritus. Yes. Just forget <laughs> Former. Yeah. Uh, what are some of the things that you know made people to choose you and not the other contestants that you went against? And how was that contestation about? Uh, how was the experience before you left it to someone else? I can say that uh, there are two proponents that distinguishes a good politician or a good leader: is his mind and his mouth. Mind there and are mouth. Two proponents. Mm -hmm. So I I remember very well that uh, when we were presenting ourselves for the candidacy of uh, that position. Uh, it was not easy, as you know, there are a lot of red tapes and bureaucratic uh, measures in yeah. terms of uh, engaging with the populace and coming all the way to the administration level. So, of course, mm. you understand it is not easy. And What are the obstacles? I'm imagining at campus. Yes. Uh, a campus is like A, B, C, D. Why should I receive a it position? It is just like that? a nation. You, yeah. you see the, the, the structure of a country when we are going to elect these people. Uh -huh. is, it is just like a such. So it's like Kenyan elections. It is just like Kenyan election. But this is campus, it's student, uh, it's student yeah. environment. Yeah. You know? So how is the opposition, like who is opposing who and who is sabotaging who and who is supporting who and not who? But you see, I can even say that the struggle in campus is even more superior than uh -huh. outside here. Because the wow. difference is uh -huh. you are dealing with intellectuals. These okay. people understand if you are using sucrose and gr aggrandizing them for them mm -hmm. to vote for you, or you are being legit, you are being mm -hmm. factual. But outside okay. here, you can go to Mamamboga down there, those mm -hmm. people who do not understand all these, uh, all these comprehensive measures or these comprehensive memorandums of okay. what a leader should clearly constitute. Mm -hmm. But in the campus level, these right. people are intellectual. They understand everything, uh -huh. what a leader should embody, which kind of a person we should elect. So yeah. it is very, it's a very different matter. So okay. uh, when we were running for this position, I remember we were seven of us uh -huh. who successfully managed to uh, go through the whole process and were cleared now for the, the ballot to okay. be elected. Okay. And out of the seven, I now realize the fact that I have two monumental things that I can use to beat my, my competitors. Mm -hmm. What were they? My mind and my mouth, uh -huh. as I said. Explain the mouth. My mind, uh, the mouth is n uh, basically now public speaking. How uh -huh. you speak to the people. Right. Eh? The constitution of the whole concept. Mm -hmm. What do you tell them? How okay. do you compose yourself? What yeah. kind of, a, how is your degree of confidence? You see, mm -hmm. what courage do you have? Yeah. to tell them that you will elect me not to tell you what you want to hear, but to yeah. tell you the truth. Because okay. that is where we mess. Mm -hmm. you, you end up uh, telling people things that will not work out. Mm -hmm. Then when you are elected into office, you mm -hmm. fail to, to implement them. And that's okay. how your legacy, you will fail 
and mm. people will never remember you <laughs> long after you've left campus. Are you talking about someone? <laughs> no, I'm not talking about uh, anyone. <laughs> but actually, I'm trying to just yeah. elucidate a point that yeah. makes sense on what a leader in the university level should constitute or what right. a leader in the university should implement right. or what should be the protrusion mm. of a figure mm. of a stature of a president of a university. Nice, I got you. You've really yes. given a comprehensive explanation. I'll come back to you. So what about you? What are some of the obstacles you had to uh, go through to come in that position that you are at your institution? And how was the contestation experience like? Um, the experience was tough, I think. Um, I shout out to my competitor. I only had one competitor after vetting. Mm -hmm. uh, Lida Nojoy, Honorable Lida Nojoy. Shout out to you. Honorable. Uh, <laughs> Uh, some of the obstacles I think he's mentioned, I had to beat a lot of odds mm -hmm. to be in that position. Yeah. One was my age. Uh, mm -hmm. It's never happened that uh, someone at my age could vie for that position and get into power. Kony, age in university, I don't think. See, everybody's young in campus. Ama. Well, but uh, vying for a seat like that, a presidency seat, uh -huh. uh, in most cases, people look at how old are you. I mean, it was uh, in, 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 the, in the olden era or some, I mean, people think that the age comes with experience in many, many cases. Mm. But, um, so, Connie, how old were you that time? When I was when I was 21 years old. Okay. So, uh, you got it in your fourth year or your third year? Third year, 3.2. Uh, All right. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, uh, th that was one of the odds, and again, Another odd, it's because. Um, All right, let me come. Let me come to you shortly as we get to fix your sound. Uh, back to you, SK. There's always obstacles in anything that you know, especially if you position yourself in a space of wanting to be a representation of people. Yeah. There's love and hate in equal measure. Yeah. And sometimes when you're interacting with, with, with different people, there's those who actually just project it to you yeah. and you know this person in your honey pendy. And one thing as well is you can't place everyone in as much as you want to be loved by people, you want to be their leader, you want them to honor you and respect you, there's those who actually go off grid. So how do you manage to get the greed and that gravitas of staying aptitude and upbeat about you know, loving people and being about a people person? Good. Uh, so you, you know when you're in this position and you're serving, for my instance, I was serving more than 50,000 students across the country at main campus, I was serving 20,000 plus. So you can imagine the abhorrence that comes with the, you see, we had competitors and they had factions which never believed in the ideologies that are presented to the table. And of course, after you defeated, you always feel like, like people didn't believe in what I could offer. So the one who was given now an opportunity to serve, there is this tendency where even your competitors or some people who never supported you tend yeah. not to come now to the table and support what you, you, you are doing. Entirely. But, uh, entirely. They hated but, uh, you during the competition, you've won and they're not even giving a damn about it. Yeah, and they will even go to an extent of um, now extending the opposition in social media mm. and such. But as a good leader... Why does this look like an election in a country? <laughs> yeah, sure. It is even intense. I've, I was telling you the pressure is even intense and sometimes... Uh -huh. You just feel discomfortable. But mm. as a good leader, that is for politicians. For politicians, they believe that we can still continue politicizing about the whole matter and what happened before. Right. But for a good leader, you have to learn the strategy of collectively bringing these people together so that you can collectively form a unison body. Yeah. Which, now when you're talking as president, you are talking on behalf of the 20,000 plus students. You are not talking about a faction of those who supported you. Yeah. So that is what I mastered. I mastered the art properly. And mm. I brought together all my competitors, even during my, my, my keynote address. Yeah. When I was being sworn in, mm. I invited all of them together yeah. so that we can sit down. Mm. We navigate the murky waters of um, what happened in the political period so that we can shape the future of right. our students in terms of service delivery. Yeah. So uh, during my time, I never really had a lot of opposition. And I appreciate those who contended with me during yeah. that time yeah. because I accepted the call of um, uniformity. 
in terms of coming together, putting things on the table, uh -huh. uh, uh, forgetting what happened, and shaping the future that uh, really is transformative for our students. Right. But I want to give credence to all Mount Kenya University who gave me an opportunity to serve them. I don't take it rightly, and I still uh, uh, honor them right. in my heart. All right, let me come back to you, Solite. Uh, mm -hmm. What are some of the uh, experiences you've had, like uh, I've, I've asked him, you, c you can't receive love mm -hmm. just one way. It's a mm -hmm. two-way traffic. Yeah. There's love and hate in equal measure. But sometimes you just feel like these people should just support me. I'm the leader. I'm the final one. There's nothing you can do anyways. Mm -hmm. But why are you hating, bro? Why are you hating? Why can't you just support? Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I would say that uh, there's, I'll start by saying that there's a very huge difference between politics and leadership. Mm -hmm. When you're in the political arena, uh, rather in the field of politics, um, this is how people perceive you, this is how people see you. Yeah. Um, when you're in politics, everyone comes to your, to, your, to your side because they have seen something and that those that come because they have their own interest uh, yeah. and that those that come because they have different opinion or something, uh, yeah. you know, that people have different things as to yeah. why they will come to support you or rather they, would want, they wouldn't want to support you. Yeah. When you get into leadership, uh, now speaking from this, uh, where we sit with yeah. my brother who is uh, emeritus. Yeah. Oh, you assumed his position? Not really. He's, he's from Mount Kenya, I'm from St. Paul's. Oh, the way you explained uh, it, I was like, hey, <laughs> what's not happening, you guys? <laughs> but now I get it, so I'll continue. Yes, yeah. so uh, it's a very hot seat. Yeah. Um, the experience, the pressure that you get, uh, yeah. as he said, the pressure that you get from the students, that those that supported you and they wanted something, they wanted to see something implemented. Yeah. Um, but now the framework that the, the frame, the, the time frame that you have to implement everything that you had promised them when you're in politics, yeah. uh, might not actually be enough for you to implement everything. Okay. Um, but uh, to navigate all those things, um, we always go with uh, one thing in leadership. We do all we can. Mm -hmm. You give, you you put all your mind, your soul into the line of duty to deliver to the people that you had promised that you have to deliver to them. Right. Uh, people might never appreciate everything. Uh, one man once said that uh, even if you bring heaven to earth, mm -hmm. human beings will still be human beings. Yeah. So even if we do all that we can, because we'll do that as servants, yeah. we will give all that we have to give. If Who it has to this? happen, uh, it is up upon I, us. I remember something. Uh, the, is it, is it um, Maya Angela who said, people remember how you made them feel, but forget yeah. how you treated them? Yes. I don't know if I've gotten it right, you'll tell me. So yes. as a leader, you, ho you always have forget. to evoke a certain... Oh, people, people forget how people you... People will forget what you said, what, what you, you said, did, but, but they you never remember forget how you made them feel. feel. You're right. Yes. Nice, they got it right. You got it right. Yes. So you must always make people feel a, a type of way. Yes. Whether it's good or bad. Yes. All right. Um, how, how many students gravitate towards you? Are they female, male, or both of them in your campus? Who I come to you a lot? Are they ladies or gents? I think both. Both. Uh, I don't think there is any... Uh, the, the, gender, the gender is balanced. Um, uh, mostly men. I would say mostly men come because men have... I, in my cycle of friends, I think I have a huge number of men in my cycle. Okay. So uh, we'll sit in, you'll find me sitting with them in most cases, right. uh, thinking together, yeah. uh, coming up with different initiatives and ideas. Mm. So um, I, I don't know, but uh, it just happens. But okay. I also have, because uh, yeah. the, the other gender, the female gender, they yeah. have, you do know, they, their perspective and how they see things. Does it mean you to Anyway, I'm kidding. Uh, what about you? Who gravitated towards you a lot today? Boy child or both either <coughs> like him? I can say the equation is balanced uh, mm -hmm. because you see it, it, it depends on need because you see someone cannot just come without uh, something. Yeah. See, someone just come without something. Some of them will come with requesting for 50 shillings for, right. for, for lunch. I've heard that a lot. There Comrade Amekosa, Sapa, yes. lunch. You call it Kuinama? Yes. Mm -hmm. Right. Hey, man, campus life is, is, is torturous. Yeah. <laughs> Torturous. It's re really triggerous. Mm -hmm. So you really have as a leader, you have to try and uh, balance. Right. So do you, and where do you get the money? Kupe amse mwenye ajakula breko, ajakula lunch, lahana sapa. Unapatwa pido. Does it mean you get a lot of financial support from your guardians? Ama you have some other 
ways of earning money, like working and still schooling. How do you do that? That's where now the problem comes in. Because you see when students select you, they now believe that you have heaps of money. Like mm. you have a lot of money at your disposal. Yeah. But that's not true. Mm -hmm. But as a leader, you should always not be a complainant. Mm -hmm. You should always try your level best to provide solution. Yeah. Comrades will come and request for you to provide something for them. And yeah. it's truly urgent. Right. Because sometimes you will see a comrade, enyewe huyu umaona, ajakula for the last two or three days. Yeah. So mm -hmm. you also have to find something for him and yeah. also trying to provide solutions by doing administrative measures mm -hmm. so that, uh, you know, we are not only looking at the present. We, all yeah. we, all, we, all, we also have to look at the future. Right. Because when I'm done with my tenure as president, what yeah. will happen to these comrades in the future? Right. So that is the most important thing that as a leader or a university representative should do. Yeah. Yes. And uh, my final question to you, because we are running out of time and we have to go, then I'll come back to you. So we anyone who's watching this conversation and they want to be a class prefect, could be a standard one student, a standard, standard D, standard one Red student, one. <laughs> um, a high schooler who is just in high school. They want to be a university leader and also a university student watching and they'll want to be in a position like you are. What are some of the things that they should do to get there very fast? By the words of uh, Martin Luther, he says that not everyone can be famous, but everyone can be great because greatness is determined by service. Mm -hmm. So this thing starts with self-belief. You okay. believe that you can lead people. Then just come out, project your voice, let people see. Then mm -hmm. uh, definitely you will get there. No. Yes. Yes, Solite. Uh, leadership, I think it's a calling. We are leaders. Mm -hmm. We born leaders. Yeah. But... Uh, how you made to be the leader that you want to be, the position that you want to uh, be in, uh, determines, depends on how you also believe in yourself. Uh, yep. Do you believe that there is a calling, that you've been called to serve in that position? Um, are you really sure that you have understood what the needs of the people, rather the constituents that you want to serve? And so if you believe in that, if you are authentic, if you are you have integrity, you believe, uh, we all have a supreme being. If yeah. you believe in God, I'm perso I personally believe in God, mm. then go for it. Um, yeah. So consult, consult okay. God as well. Okay, uh, who do you admire mostly in leadership? Very fast, <laughs> in one second. Uh, in leadership, I, just one person, say their name. Martin Luther King, he's mentioned so many times. You admire him a lot. Yes. Uh -huh. Without a blink, I'll say Barack Obama. Barack Obama. Yes. So we don't have to explain because we can't extend this conversation because we are out of time. But thank you so much. SK Kajong, your social media is at just one. SK Kajong. At SK Kajong.